Grab your terrible towels and head over to Latrobe. The Steelers training camp is finally here. Rich Walsh is over at St. Vincent College now to give us a recap of the first two days. Hey, Rich, how's it going out there? Hey guys, I don't have a terrible towel, but it is a big day here at St. Vincent in Latrobe. It's the first day of Steelers training camp. They reported yesterday, today was the first actual practice for this team. It happened at 1030, which is a little bit of a change. Usually they had practices at 2 o'clock uh, and all the years past. This is 57 years here in Latrobe for Steelers training camp going away. Uh, they've been doing it since 1966. And a couple of the big storylines, if you're a fan and you come up here to watch the Steelers practice in the morning at 1030, like I said. What a great practice. 10 30. Oh, morning, and look Pittsburgh who this Steelers. is. A you, legend, a Steelers legend, Chris Hoke. We're live <laughs> how you on doing, Pittsburgh. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. How are you doing? This Good. is great, isn't it? Yeah, Dude, and people fans. get a chance to meet you here, right? Oh, I, I was over here earlier taking, you know, signing autographs and taking pictures. I saw you over there. You were hobnobbing <laughs> with everybody, man. Everybody wanted to see you, not me. Well, I'll see a lot of you during this year, right. but this is a cool, this is the experience, the Steelers experience. You get cool gifts like this bag yeah. here and a misting fan. You yeah. might need that one. Get cool. that sweat off and meet you. You never know who you're going to run into, right? I mean, Troy Paul Malu, Ike Taylor down the field. I saw Arthur Motes here earlier. I mean, there's always four players running around here and current players. You can get stuff signed after practice. What's the best question you get when people come up to ask you things and ask for your autograph? People always want to ask me what was different between training camp when I played and training camp now. Richie, there's not even there's no comparison, right? I mean, it was it was a grind back when I when I played. I was sweating the whole way up from Pittsburgh to here, knowing what practice was going to be the next morning. We went full pads day one, and so here it's a little different. But that's that's the NFL today. That's a collective bargaining agreement. But it's about getting these guys ready for season. You know, the one cool thing, and I do talk to a lot of the former players like yourself, that they like about this, not too many teams go away yeah. to camp. Yeah. You're one of the few teams that do it, but you get to meet all the fans. I, I think that's a pretty cool thing. I think that's one element the Steelers love about being up here is because you get to interact with the fans, and it's just developing Steeler Nation, right? I mean, you, you want this to keep growing and keep getting bigger, and it's, it's all about Steeler Nation. When we go on the road, when you see the black and gold in the stadium, this is where it, it, it comes from this right here, right? Mm -hmm. And from kids coming with their parents who loved watching me when I played. They loved watching the 70s and 80s players, and, and that's one. But the big element of, of coming up here, Rich, is really about the relationships you develop between teammates. You're developing the team team chemistry that you're going to need as you go through the ups and downs of the season, and that's so important. You know, I was just about to talk about the, the big storylines up here, and I think one of the biggest is the quarterback. Not really a competition. Russell Wilson is QB1, all eyes on the quarterback, maybe wide receiver two, and, and Cam Hayward in his last yeah. year of his deal. Yeah, listen, here's the reality. This is a quarterback-driven league. And if you don't have a quarterback that can, can throw the ball when he needs to, you don't, we don't need a quarterback to go out there and win the ball game for us. We need a quarterback when it's third and ten to throw an 11-yard pass, not a six-yard pass or throw an incomplete. We're going to be pounding the football. Arthur Smith's in here. Najee's going to be pounding the football. He looks he's in great shape. Jalen Warren. But can Russell Wilson make that throw and read, and read the blitz and do it when we need to make it a first down? In the, th in the third, fourth quarter when we need to. And if he can do that and, and not turn the ball over, I think we're going to have a heck of a season. Thanks a lot, Chris. I appreciate the surprise yeah, visit. I can't wait to work with you. This, this <laughs> yeah, it's going to be awesome. <laughs> Sorry, to interrupt you. <laughs> no, I loved it. That's perfect. That's what we need. So, hey, you heard everything that you need to know on and off the field here in Latrobe if you plan to come up and check out Steelers practice at Steelers training camp. Guys? I, I have one behind-the-scenes question, Rich, because, you know, a lot of people are talking about the summer games. We've seen the videos of uh, some of the cardboard, as they're saying, mattresses. The, these guys, some of them are really big, and they're coming from maybe luxury living what is that like to move into a dorm for three weeks for them? Well, you know, I had a chance to talk to Russell Wilson about that yesterday. He hasn't been in a dorm since his freshman year at <laughs> NC State. So this is a big change for all these guys. They're they're coming from mansions and nice houses to yeah. living in a dorms like, you know, regular college students do here. Uh, you know, the one thing with Russell Wilson and some of these veteran guys, they do get their own dorm room, but some of these rookies have to share that room with, with someone else. And uh, so it is a unique experience. You know, I had a chance to talk to Troy Fatano, the first round draft pick, and, you know, a lot a lot of these rookies have to bring things. He had to stop at Costco on his way here and bring eight cases of Celsius. My goodness. Yeah, it's still a twin extra long bed, right? Like we're not talking, they're not getting any more room than still that. Still a twin bed 
Yeah, it's a couple of these guys told me that they, they're not bunk beds in rooms. The beds are separated, but, um, you know, it, it's still a twin bed. So a lot of these guys are pretty big, a lot yeah. bigger than me. A lot of and I can't even in. sleep on a twin bed. That's right. All right, Rich, thanks so much. Yeah. And, of course, we're going to have a lot more coverage of camp next week right here on Talk Pittsburgh. If you're hoping to check out the open practices, admission is free for Steelers Nation, but you must have a mobile ticket. We're going to have a link on our website, kdka.com slash Talk Pittsburgh.